Hi guys, welcome back. We are not going there. We are heading back this way. Um, I feel also, in the meantime, I should... Oh wow, I didn't even use any of these crystal flowers during that boss fight. Not like I fucking needed it. The best. Okay, no. Um, probably I'm going to spend a bit of time, actually, right now, making more potions and shit. Uh... What potion is this one? It's a willpower one. That's a dex. That's a willpower. It's a strength. Yeah, let's make vitality. Alright, I got everything I want, so let's head down. And I'm gonna give it a nice save here. So I have a... Basically gave most of the health to uh, Pat, who... As I said, my one regret for him is I just didn't make him heavy armor. I really should have, to be honest. It, he would have been much better off wearing like a, the, the second set of heavy armor. Looking back, I would have definitely done that. So we have a bit of a, a puzzle here. So we have another four power gems. Uh, I, I already know this. Ooh, what's up there? How do I make it up there? Now I'm, I'm, I'm now distracted by the fact that there's secrets up there. I think that had something on the walls and I, I took it already. Actually, there's this way. The fuck is over here? Oh, I say. Oh, I got another potion of strength here. Oh, and there's his uh, ammunition. Great, greater potion of healing and a potion of resurrection. Uh, so I'm sure those will come in handy soon. Okay. Uh, and with that being said... Well, first of all, we have this locked door. So it's confusing. Second of all, we have this text here. So it says, the fifth element... Uh, I'll, 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 there would be only void as all matter would fail apart when the four basic elements cancel each other out. It's a balanced one. Uh, so it's just basically like, uh, I don't know. I'm, try, I'm trying to figure it out. Th these are the things that give you the hint for it. It says it was uh, created, and that's the equilibrium of the elements that were in exi existence. The spirits left it out. Uh, okay, this really doesn't say much, but basically, if you've been playing this whole time, you're supposed to figure out that. Okay, the, the, it's the element of balance. It's basically the middle of the elements, right? So we go out here, and there's this fucking leprechaun. I was hoping we'd kill him. I'm gonna kill this guy. That sneaky motherfucker. Alright. So... Basically, you see that the triangle thing is fire, so, okay, fire. Uh, you can't see from this angle, or is this angle, maybe. This one's wind, you see wind right there. Uh, this one's the... I don't know what the fuck... Oh, yeah, this one's the, the water one. And this one's the earth one. And so, it actually corresponds to right here, if I look from this angle. Uh, so, I'm literally sitting in the middle. So, the one in the middle actually is the balance one. When I cast it, it takes me there. That's how that works. Uh, that's You're supposed to figure that out, basically. Uh, so let's just read these guys. This is a shroud of balance. It's an invisible force that binds everything together. Without it, the universe could not exist. I disagree. But anyways, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you're on the well on the way to ascension with, uh, with it comes a great price. You have the choice to turn back. In, in do four, uh, four, four, four power gems diffuse into the essence of the element. Uh, whoops, wait, not all of gems land in the sky, some of them buried deep underground, so, uh, well, obviously we have them all. So... And here we have the essence of balance. I have no fucking idea what to do with this. But it's probably related to some sort of puzzle. Um, I'm guessing there's a pillar somewhere over there that I have to put it on. This this part I don't know. I just know how to get it. Yeah, that's not it. 
So I'm 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 assuming that the whole thing is I want to basically. Uh, I want to go in here, right? But there's a key. Keys bar my way. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, essence of balance. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much what I know, and now I'm confused again what to do with it. Um. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh. Uh, okay, I get it now. This part wasn't exactly clear to me. The game may have explained it at some point, but... Yeah. I have to, I have to look up all of this shit. Um, it has to do with the hub room, actually. Remember that door we can never open in the hub room? It has something to do with that. Uh, so, that is apparently where we will find all the answers to life. Uh, oh, okay. So apparently this just opens. I don't know what triggered it to open. I guess the beating the final boss. Alright. I got an achievement called, called Cartographer. I guess I explored every place in the game. And I have hiccups. Uh, so here we have the lair of the trickster. Oh! So this is where that motherfucker lives. See, we had we have fucking unfinished business with that fucking leprechaun. That's what this is all about. Uh, okay, so that we have spiked floors down there. Let's see if there's like a button over there. No, it doesn't look like it's there. Nothing I can see over there. I can I can I can actually roughly see from up here, and I remember where the tile set button is for this one. Yeah, I'm pretty certain there's no button down there. So following that pipe, uh, that pit does nothing. Uh, same dealy here. We have some ammunition down there. Well. By the way, I'm pretty certain this is where you put the thing, the element to, yeah, you can even see the uh, the thing. But before we put it down, we're gonna definitely, um, we're gonna have a look around first. Kind of just make sure we're uh, taking care of business here. I like that song, actually. I got that stuck in my head now. All right. Not abund abundantly clear why there's these holes full of spikes. I'm assuming it's to do something like make me panic. And there's also these buttons. There's a lot of keyholes here. Um, so there's a lot to this place. We're going to go and upright fucking murder that, that leprechaun, I'm going to tell you right now. Like, for now on, for now on, I'm just anti-leprechaun, 100%. I was just mostly, uh, my OCD, I wanted to explore that. And now my OCD is with that, but that's okay, and that. Alright, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that you just are supposed to place the, the balance thing there. So, without further ado, let's not waste time, and... I knew it. What in the f everlasting fuck? Well, uh, you're dead. Whoops. Uh, Jack needs one. That barely hurts.
Uh, what a fucking dick. I, I hate this guy so much. You know, let's just use the healing crystal here. Look at that. Solve all my problems. Fuck leprechauns. Oh, and someone's dead again. Uh, let's just use another potion of resurrection on uh, Kand over here. It's ironic that he's having the biggest trouble here. All he uses is shock fucking thing, so let me just maybe harness our shock uh, resistance. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, hi. Oh, now I need fire. Uh, hi, Island Master. Good sir. Dude, this kid does not fuck around. How do we get rid of this thing? Do we dispel magic with it? And he just kind of warps around. Oh, and he fucking pushes me back into these things. What a giant douche. Yeah, this is actually a good situation for us to use that power crystal thing. I mean, when, what other time we're gonna use it? I'm facing the fucking Island Master. Actually, yeah, Rage Potion for you, Rage Potion for you. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot of shield potions, do I? Sorry, I didn't want to get hit by that. And you split yourself? It's not fair. Oh, it's just illusions. I played enough Dota to know how that works. Not really. And somewhere Pat is smiling. Upon my Dota references. Uh, all right. Ah, uh, fucking has this thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, we're kind of lacking potions now. This is all I have, though. I'll tell you that much. Oh, jeez. Now, uh, let me just go do some potions here. Eh, uh, speed potion, sure. I, I really, okay, this is a really, like, just tough spot for me to be in. I'm not entirely sure what triggers him to... He's just making more and more copies of himself. Oh, a death. I'll just heal everybody. This guy's a giant asshole. Sorry, I'm not I'm not even like I'm I'm pretty certain I'm not facing the right one anymore. Oh, we're doing damage to him, so you know what? Why can't you use it? Unable to cast spells. Awesome. Alright. Oops. I just gave something to myself. I didn't really intend to. Well, Pat can't do anything. Either It's either, you know, just use another one of these healing crystals. And also give myself some physical protection. Why not? Where'd he go? Where are you, good island master, sir? 
we got some ammunition here. I have to say that this music is pretty badass. Got the wizard's visage disintegrate. Hot diggity damn. Oh, we got a note here, and we have a, a master key. Oh, this is probably for that portal thing. So it says, Years ago, when the world was still new, but uh, intelligence had uh, but intelligence had born, the ancestor spirits determined that their work in this wor uh, world was done. Before leaving the world, they gave the words of creation to the people, and among them, the, to the first guardian of the nexus. For the entire history of the world, the words have been kept in several secret places, always guarded by un uh, uninterrupted chain of guardians. When the previous guardian got weak and tired, a new one stepped up. But how to choose a strong and wise successor for this mo monumental task? 5,000 years ago, my predecessors found the island of Nex and determined it to be the safest place on Earth to keep the words of creation. A series of trials were invented to test the physical and mental abilities of randomly chosen individuals. Since then, countless men and women have been tested by the trials of the island, and now my time has come to step aside. I congratulate you for passing the final test. You are now ready to enter the Nexus. Oh. So... I am now the island master, and I protect the words. Uh, and yeah, this the master key just is is whatever. So that's kind of cool. Kind of makes sense though, like how he was like looking at, like looking how we left because. By leaving the island in the other ending, we failed the test. And so then he has to find somebody else to essentially do this, this shit. But basically, I guess like every time, just like generations and eons of people or whatever, just have to keep doing the test. Alright. Well, let's give it a save here and uh, check this out. And that solves the secret of the Legend of Grimrock game. That's... That's really fucking neat. That's cool. I do like that bonus ending, that's really neat. Alright, well that's, that's a finally the official ending. We've done the game. Uh, so, guess my thoughts. I, I really did like this. This was actually really good. Um, as I said from the beginning, Puzzle games not necessarily my forte, uh, and I definitely I guess showed you. I mean, I mean, one of the guys I used to play a uh, uh, Path of Exile with, uh, in Razor, apparently literally said, "I cannot watch Mike's <laughs> Mike's Legend of Grimrock LP." I don't know. You know, as I said, I I did my best, but it's not like necessarily something up my alley. I enjoy it. I had fun with it. I wouldn't have done it otherwise. I, mean, I didn't just do it just because, like, oh fuck, whatever. No. 
I, I do like these kinds of games, and um, I'm just not good at them. So I, I, I really needed help from the internet uh, sometimes. So, But as I said, I was forthcoming with you guys. I didn't look up something and then not tell you about it or, or whatever. So, uh, And I'd, I'd usually only look up stuff if, if like someone mentions it and says, you should really go for that. I'm like, oh, okay, fine. I'll give it a shot. Uh, things like that. Um, so with that being said, what do I think of the game itself? Uh, well, obviously I said I really liked it, but the soundtrack is really, really quite good. Uh, it's actually probably the best part. Like, even this right now is, is pretty amazing, actually. They've done a really good job on the sound design. Apparently all the money they made from the first game went, like, got sunk directly into this game. Uh, which is really good, and it, it's much longer. Like, I think I made just like a... 35 part LP. I know most of the parts, I, I'm sorry, they, they started going on like 30 minutes. I basically was aiming for the higher, like, to, to record like over 25 minutes and then I'd kind of forget and then I'd be like, oh, it's 30 minutes now. It's happened a lot, actually. Because I was having a lot of fun with it. I, I really wanted to explore it and stuff like that, so... That was really, it was really, really, really well done. Graphically, the game is really impressive, too. I'm surprised, like, they actually managed to, because this is their own custom engine. So they got some real talent behind this, and I hope they do some more stuff with it too. Um, highly would recommend it. It's it's really, really, really good. The, my only my only complaints I think with the gameplay was they introduced the limb. Oh, you motherfucker! Although. He, he bowed, so it's okay. The, the island master was the, the, the fucking... Uh, the leprechaun the entire time. Anyways, um, so what was I saying? Uh, my one complaint would be the limb, like, hurting stuff. That was super annoying, because even though you have someone at full health, they would basically require health potions sometimes, because they wouldn't be able to cast spells, they wouldn't be able to use their hands, things like that. That is the most annoying mechanic in the, on the planet. I really didn't like that. Um, I didn't feel added a whole lot, especially since I made the choice earlier in the game to basically say, uh, remember I had the option to get a rope earlier, like, really early on in the game, and I said, no, I don't need that, like, it's like, it's, it'll be okay. Or, or, like, no, no, wait, I think I said I thought I'd get it later, and then I really didn't. I didn't get it until, like, I think the last, like, 10% of the game. Um, and the rope is what you need to climb down to explore this stuff, or else you're gonna take limb damage all the time. So... You gotta get that rope, man. And even then, like, during the boss fights, you notice, like, half the time I would have to multitask and try and heal people. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, that's, as I said, that's that, that's my one complaint of anything about this game. Um, most of the puzzles, I'd say about 95%, I think, are reasonable and you'd be able to solve them normally. I, I think that there's about maybe 5%. I'm trying to think of an example off the top of my head that, like, they're really, really hard, and you have to kind of strain... Uh, you gotta really think outside the box for. Uh, but, you know, everybody's experience is different, I suppose. Um, with me, as I said, I don't clue into stuff like that right away. Um, I, I didn't really grow up on these kinds of, like, uh, dungeon crawler-esque games kind of thing, and so I'm not accustomed to it. I do like it a lot. Um, it's like this This game felt very adventure the entire time. Like if someone's like, it's a great, great genre and I hope it really makes a comeback. Maybe I'll get better them at them as uh, as time goes on. As I said, uh, most of the failings in terms of the actual playthrough were on me. Um, uh, as I said, there's only maybe like a very small majority, sorry, minority, not majority, minority of the puzzles where I would say like, yeah, you really have to figure, like it's just, I, I had to look it up. I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm sure there's a couple people there, but we, we live in the age of the internet, so that's not really a problem anymore. Uh, but in terms of an actual playthrough, yeah. I mean, it's a it's a blind run. Like, you, this is what you guys signed up for, I suppose. Like, it's blind, it's me solving puzzles, and I'm not very good at it. So, you know, occasionally, if, if I'm... Normally, if I was playing this on my own, I probably would give it a bit more of a chance, but I don't know. I mean, I play Legend of Grimrock 1, and I had to have basically have Pat in my mumble, basically, um, giving me the solutions to puzzles occasionally, uh, cause I just wasn't, yeah, I wasn't cluing into it. Um, as I said, it's, it's not my genre, but I enjoyed it all the same, and I, and I hope you did as well. Um, 
As I said, I warned you at the very beginning, it probably would be best if uh, you played it through yourself first and then got to see me do it. So I don't know how many people actually did that, but uh, uh, I, I, I hope you did, and I hope you consider buying it, because there still is um, a couple of modes here. You can do, like, um, if, you like a ch if you're playing not for the puzzling, but the, for the challenges, they've got, like, single-use crystals, they got Iron Man mode, so, like, you can only save at crystals. You got hard mode. I was playing on normal this whole time, and I I, I almost like didn't do it. Um, the old school mode, interestingly enough, is actually I think. Yeah, I would still say like, giving my casualness. Um, probably prefer not having. Uh, well, I prefer having uh, old school mode off. But like that's more of like a like custom. Like imagine going through all the shit I just did. And having to manually, like, f remember where everything is, and you got to wrap your head around that because, like, it's that gets really difficult. So that's interestingly enough, uh, just kind of uh, a little side thing that the game has, I suppose. There's, uh, there's a lot of options here, and they also have a dungeon editor uh, and custom dungeons, uh, so people can make their own. This was a thing with the first game as well, so they actually programmed it so they have an editor with it. So that's really nice as well. Um, I've not tried any custom dungeons because I, I literally got into Legend of Grimrock about a month and a half ago or two months ago or something. So, um, I would see. Maybe, maybe that would be up my alley. I don't know if, I don't think I'd do that for YouTube, but uh, if they ever be, revisit this Legend of Grimrock stuff, I think I would definitely take a look at it again because this is really, this was actually really fun for me. Um, you know, as I said, one of those things, not a genre I'm great at, but it's in a genre I, I now think I enjoy. I, it's, I have to say, it is my first dungeon crawler. Uh, if Unless you consider, like, Diablo and Path of Exile dungeon crawlers, which are really not. Uh, they're more like action RPGs. They don't really have any puzzles associated with them. And, like, you know, you can also go, like, Skyrim. Technically could be one, but it's very, very casual, very, very light. It's almost insulting to actually compare them directly. Because uh, the puzzles in Skyrim are very easy, like you really never get lost on them. Uh, but this one, this one is definitely for a very hardcore audience, and the um, it's it's very defined, like what they were targeting, and they did a very good job at it. Like I really don't like games that dumb things down, and this one did not do that at all. This one was absolutely fantastic. Uh, so as I said, uh, I hope you consider uh, having another look at it, maybe on your own. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and take care. Bye.